Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Hey, I wanted to bring you all a big update about Credit Karma and what just recently happened. Credit Karma has been uh, reached out by the Federal Trade Commission, okay? And the reason they've been reached out by the Federal Trade Commission is because they've been taking advantage of you. And how have they been taking advantage of you? Well, the Federal Trade Commission says they've been duping you guys into applying for credit cards that they know you all have not been pre-approved. See, here's the situation. Credit Karma gives you a Vantage score, okay? And so the Vantage score may be slightly higher than your FICO score, okay? And I've been telling you guys, it could be between 50 to 80 points off with your Vantage score, right? Now, here's the situation so you can understand. Credit Karma, when you remove negative items, all right, it will, your Vantage score updates faster than your FICO score, okay? Because of that, right it's not pulling in all of the data points and because of that your credit score seems to be higher so where your FICO score may say you got maybe a 620 and your Vantage score with Credit Karma may say that you have a 680 or 690 now what happens with Credit Karma their system will pick it up and say oh you've been approved pre-approved for this here card which is not the case, okay? The reason is, is because of the data points. So when you apply for credit card through Credit Karma, okay? Credit Karma is a lead generation system, all right? It's not there for your benefit, all right? So when you apply for a credit card through Credit Karma, so that you understand, here's the situation. They may get anywhere from 25 up to $125 per lead. All right, now your credit score may be a 580 credit score, okay? And they may say you've been pre approved for a Chase card, a Bank of America, American Express, okay, or Capital One, right? So they'll tell you you've been pre approved for these here cards. Here's the big problem with that these cards do not use Vantage Score. Okay, and I know some of you are probably scratching your head, like, wait a minute, what do you mean? Well, here's the situation. Bank of America, American Express, Chase, Capital One, they use FICO 8. They do not use Vantage, okay? And because they do not use Vantage score, then your score from FICO may be lower because they're pulling in more data points. They actually use FICO 8 uh, bank card to be exact, all right? Now, here's the situation that you have to understand. With these here uh, bank uh, cards, because they actually will give you a Vantage score for free. Because they give you your Vantage TransUnion uh, 3 score, that score is not the same as your FICO score. So if you go to American Express, I made a video talking about how you can get pre-approved for a credit card through American Express, right? But American Express will let you check your Vantage score, but it will not give you your FICO score, is which is what they use, okay? So you go to their site, and you, you don't have to be a member to do this. And you can put in your information, and it will give you a Vantage score. That's not the same as your FICO 8 bank score. So where that Vantage score may seem higher, even with American Express, that doesn't mean that you're going to be um, pre-approved for that card. All right. So that's the reason I'm telling you with Credit Karma, their system is a lead generation system because they don't pull in all the same data points just like with chase and capital one uh they give you advantage three transunion scores all right but just keep in mind 
because they do not actually use those systems to actually determine if you qualify for a credit card, they use FICO 8 bank card, you end up getting unnecessary hard inquiries. So this is why the Federal Trade Commission called out, um, they called out uh, Credit Karma for this because they are notorious for giving you the wrong credit score and telling you to apply for these FICO 8 bank cards when they know that those data points are not accurate enough to get you uh, pre-approved for a real credit card, credit card with the major banks, all right? So if you have any questions about your business credit, your personal credit, how to remove negative items off of your personal credit, click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.